a lot of people know about the Black Knight satellite. A satellite that's in an orbit around the Earth. The entire Earth. Now according to UFO conspiracists, this satellite's been around for 13,000 years. The internet is buzzing this morning over this bizarre video shot near a military base in Dayton, Ohio. Oh, did you see this? It appears to show an object hovering and disappearing into the clouds. No one really knows where the satellite comes from. But the thing I want to talk about today, and no one's really talking about, is the Black Triangle UFO. Dude. What is that? Mystery in the sky. Look at this. Viewers and even a K2 photographer captured the strange lights on camera last night. Today, many people still wondering what they could be. The rocket in a quarter mile. Take it. Here's a triangle something right there. Triangle right back here. A UFO has been seen more towards the end of the 20th century to the 21st century. A UFO that people keep hush hush. No one's really talking about it. Now this UFO has been spotted everywhere, from the United States to Russia to Germany. And it's not just one person witnessing this UFO. There's eyewitnesses, multiple witnesses at a time. I guess this UFO is trying to make itself known that it's out there in the world, but no one's taking it seriously. Now one of the most interesting sightings about this UFO would have to be the Phoenix Lights. So interesting that they even made a movie about it. Seven light. You guys right ever seen anything like this before? That's, that's one object. They zoom in on it. Yeah. We're zooming, huh? Oh my god. That was the Air Force, Dad. Well, I hope it was our Air Force. This event took place back in March 3rd, 1997, where the media caught footage of it on their cameras and even local neighbors caught video footage on it on their personal cameras. 18 years ago today, thousands here in Arizona witnessed the most documented UFO sighting in the world. Now the way this UFO moved, no one could explain how the speed sped up to how it slowed down instantly. It was phenomenal. Now the Phoenix lights were grouped together in a V shape like a flock of birds. Now some of the witnesses pointed out that one craft looked so huge it was about a mile long. This will be the Black Triangle UFO. She said, Mom, you've got to run out and see what's over Camelback Mountain. March 13th, 1997, Sue Watson joined her two daughters and two sons in the front yard of their Phoenix home just south of Camelback Mountain. We saw this huge aircraft coming over, probably covered half the mountain. What they saw was eerily similar to this animation of a boomerang-shaped aircraft described to investigators that night. The United States military came out saying this was a military testing. They were testing flares from planes. Now the funny thing is, for the next couple days, they were trying to reenact this to make it seem like it was actually true. That they were doing a military testing and it wasn't a UFO sighting. But they couldn't reenact this unexplained event. And now I'll ask Officer Stein and his colleagues to escort the accused into the room so that we may all look upon the guilty party. Don't get him too close to me, please. In the alien costume, the governor's chief of staff. And this just goes to show that you guys are entirely too serious. <laughs> UFO enthusiasts were not immune, especially since the governor was believed to have seen nothing. March 13, 1997. What did you see? Well, I saw a, uh, a huge craft just kind of come right over Squaw Peak. That, that it was a, it was a, unquestionably it was a UFO, which means unidentified flying object. But it was absolutely silent and had sort of eerie embedded lights. And, you know, so that's what I saw. And I wasn't expecting to see anything. It was really something. And I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> Now, in March of 2014, two men also spotted the Black Triangle UFO, Steve Douglas and Dean Muskie, and they were able to snatch some shots of the UFO in Amarillo, Texas. The only thing about their Black Triangle UFO is that it was leaving a contrail. Now, out of all the photographs and proof that we've seen about UFOs, it never, ever left a trail. Maybe this wasn't a contrail. Maybe it was a chemtrail, 
and this UFO is actually trying to poison us somehow. Maybe it was dumping some chemicals in our ozone layer, probably terraforming the ozone for them to survive in the habitat and maybe invade. I'm kidding about that part. Don't get scared. Now people claim, or should I say believe, that the Black Triangle UFO is actually a secret government spy plane. And the design of the ship is actually really a special type of design to keep stealth. Now we do have some stealth planes out there, but nothing like this. But back in March, they spotted three craft they'd never seen before, about six miles up. That we had captured something completely unique. A triangle, like a stealth bomber, but not a stealth bomber. The back edge was flat, like a Dorito. It wasn't jagged. The TR-3. Now, Edgar Fucci, a former Area 51 employee, has confessed to a secret government project. My name is Edgar Rochal Fouché. I'm here to speak about secret government technology, reverse engineering of alien artifacts, and the top secret MJ-12 committee. Before I'm through, you'll know exactly what the Flying Triangle is, the one that's been sighted around the world. It's the most exotic and classified aerospace vehicle that's ever been built. It may be stealthily hovering over Phoenix, Belgium, or your city. Now he says a TR-3B is a special type of ship. It is capable of space travel. And also too, it has a gravitational shielding. This is what gives it the movements to fly the way it flies. To speed up and slow down instantly. Could this ship be a governmental experiment? I mean, we do have unmanned planes now. The Navy recently came out saying that UFOs do exist. CNN has learned the Pentagon had a secretive program to research UFOs like the one Fravor spotted. The project was called the Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program, run by an official named Luis Elizondo. I think this is a national security imperative. We have clear things that we do not understand how they work operating in areas that we can't control. Now, could this just be a cover up for the secret experiments? Maybe their secrets are getting leaked. Now this is just a theory. Do you remember back in 1947 when you had the Roswell crash where they found aliens and then first you said it was a UFO and they come out saying it was a weather balloon? The theory is that it was an actual alien crash site. A UFO crashed in Roswell. Now the government made a deal with the survivors saying that you give us some alien tech, we'll give you humans. This is why we have abductions all over the earth, all over America. I mean, I don't know if you heard of the missing 411, 1,600 people go missing a year in national parks, and no one's talking about it. According to Oregon State Police, there are 41 missing children. It's an unknown what happened to these people. It extends far beyond just kids. Hundreds of people vanished from our national parks and forests under very unusual but very similar circumstances. Does the National Park Service keep a list of missing people in their parks? Look at all these people going missing randomly. People say it's human trafficking. People say that they've literally gone missing or they're runaways. You can't report a runaway within 48 hours. Could this be part of their deal? Could this black triangle UFO really be from the Roswell crash sites deal that they brokered with aliens? That was just a theory. Don't sue me. But it does make you wonder. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, peace guys.